What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So recently, I came across this very cool chart from the Dokkan subreddit made by friend of the channel RallerZZ and it's an analysis of nearly every single god coup in this game specifically to do with how much attack and damage each of them are able to generate and if you guys aren't aware with the recent release of tech god coup there is now a super saiyan god goku of every single type in this game and i thought you guys might be interested in finding out how much attack each of these units individually can generate but also which one generates the most attack does the most damage and comes out on top as the best god coup in this game so i mean it's something that was super interesting to me and hopefully you guys feel the same way but without further ado let's jump into the analysis Thank you again to RattlerZZ for all the hard work that you do. This video would not be possible without you. So the first unit we're going to talk about in this video is Physical God Coup. And I said earlier that Rattler did an analysis of nearly every single God Coup in the game because he actually left Physical God Coup off the list. And it's understandable. I think it was for good reason because Physical God Coup is really at the end of the day known as more of a support unit. He's really not a damage dealer because he doesn't do that much damage but still no disrespect to physical god coup that has a special place in my heart but we're gonna move on now to int god coup and the info you see on the screen right now the stats on the left are gonna be for the free dupe level or no dupes and the stats on the right are gonna be for his rainbow level or 100% in the hidden potential system now I'm not gonna read the free dupe level you guys can see it yourself but at rainbow status in god coup will have 14,000 389 HP, 13,246 attack, and 8,933 defense. The team that he's considered on is Movie Heroes with a 170% attack boost from both leads. His potential system will be 15 crit and 6 additional attack for this analysis. You guys can of course do whatever you want with the potential system, but for the most damage output, this is the best setup. And his links considered active are Super Saiyan with a 100% uptime and godly power with a 100% uptime. Now I believe the links and their respective percentages for uptimes have to do with the teams that they're on as well as their available linking partners. And speaking of linking partners, in God Coup's most dependable linking partner on the Movie Heroes team will be the STR Super Saiyan God Vegeta. So with all that information considered, in God Coup at the free dupe level will have an average attack of 674,690 and at rainbow status you'll have an average attack of 1,289,815 which is very respectable. So moving on now to the next god coup on the list, AGL god coup. At rainbow status you will have 13,420 HP, 13,089 attack and 10,838 defense. His team will be Universe 7 representatives with a 177% attack boost from LR, Goku, and Frieza. His potential skills will be 15 critical and 11 additional attack. And the links that are considered active for him in this analysis are Super Saiyan with a 66% uptime, Godly Power with a 100% uptime, Warrior Gods with a 33% uptime, Kamehameha with a 100% uptime, and Fierce Battle with a 100% uptime. And his most dependable linking partners in this team are UI Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, as well as Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. So with all that considered, AGL Godku at the free dupe level will have an attack of 842,926. That's average attack, by the way. And his average attack at rainbow status is 1 million 601,925. So quite a bit higher than Int God Coup right there. Moving on to STR God Coup. And by the way, just a side note, this guy was my unicorn for the longest time on my account. I could not pull this man for like a year and a half. And now he's rainbowed, but <laughs> that's not important. Moving on, STR God Coup at rainbow status has an HP of 15,997 attack of 13,744 and a defense of 8,020 and the team that he will be considered on for this analysis is Goku's lineage with a 170% attack boost from Super Saiyan 4 Goku 
and his potential system will be comprised of 20 crit and 6 additional attack. Links considered active here are Super Saiyan with a 100% uptime, Godly Power with a 100% uptime, Warrior Gods with a 33% uptime, the Fierce Battle, sorry, the First Awakened, the Fierce Battle, with a 100% uptime, and Fierce Battle with a 100% uptime. And his most dependable linking partners on this team would be UI Goku, Super Saiyan God, Vegeta, wait, what, what? No, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, also known as Gogeta Blue, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, Vegeta. So, with that considered, all that information. His average attack, STR Godku's average attack at the free dupe level will be 979,841 and at rainbow status 1,900,605. So we're moving up the ranks here. There's only one Godku left. And last but not least, we gotta talk about the newest Godku of the bunch, Heck Super Saiyan God Goku from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. And at rainbow status, he has 11,928 HP, 14,088 attack, and 9,748 defense. The team that he's being considered on is Movie Heroes with a dual 170% attack boost from Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. And his potential system will be comprised of 20 critical, 6 additional attack, and the links that are considered active here are Super Saiyan with a 100% uptime, Godly Power with a 100% uptime, Warrior Gods with a 100% uptime, Saiyan Warrior Race with a 100% uptime, and Fierce Battle with a 100% uptime. Most dependable linking partner, best linking partner on this team, Super Saiyan God Vegeta. No surprises there. So, now we've come to the final moment to see whether or not this new God Ku actually hits harder than all the other Godkus that have come before him. His average attack at the free dupe level is 1,088,286 and his average attack at rainbow status crosses the 2 million threshold. 2,091,837 which does make him the hardest hitting Godku in this game right now. One thing to keep in mind is that Godku, this Godku specifically the tech one, does get 7% additional attack for every rainbow key sphere that he obtains, and he does generate his own rainbow key spheres. So Rallor considered him to have an average of 2.3 rainbow key spheres per turn to get those attack numbers, which I think is very fair considering he does generate his own spheres that can use to get that attack boost. Now, I think it comes as no surprise to a lot of people that Tech Godku is now the hardest hitting Godku in this game. But at the same time, I think it was interesting to see how it got up to this point, which links were considered, what their stats look like, what teams they're on, what their hidden potential skills will be to get to those levels. And also, it surprised me at least that STR Godku actually, it's just slightly, slightly less hard than Tech Godku. So they're almost on the same level as you can see, STR Godku has a average attack at rainbow status of 1.9 million, while Godku is about 2. Point, well, Oh, they're all Godkus. Sorry, I'm getting confused. The tech Godku is at 2.1 million or so. So it's not a massive difference considering how old STR Godku is. So uh, it goes to show that these units honestly have kind of aged quite well. But that's the analysis for you guys. Tech Godku is the hardest hitting one and Int Godku is uh, the weakest one, at least for attack and damage output by quite a bit. We didn't consider the AGL Godku, um, well, we did actually, but I'm talking about the Super Saiyan 2 transforming Goku that becomes Godku at some point in the battle. Uh, we didn't consider him because he's only in that form for one turn, and he's technically Super Saiyan 2 Goku to start, so he's not on this list, he doesn't qualify, he's been disqualified. But that's gonna do it for the list, guys. As you can see, there's a lot of factors that go into considering how much damage, how much attack a unit can generate, and who actually is the strongest out of the bunch. So that's gonna do it for the video. Like I said, I hope you guys found it as interesting as I did. And once again, thank you to RattlerZZ for making this chart, making this video possible. They're freaking awesome. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, if you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. 
And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.